Hey guys, what is up and I welcome each and every one of you to a uh, relatively quick new leak of legends video So today we're gonna be taking a look at uh, a new post that just got released by riot where they're essentially once again Doing a rework or a mini rework whatever you want to call it to the jungle uh, The jungle is getting some pretty significant changes once again So we're gonna be going through this post together. Hope you guys enjoy uh, Let me know what you think about these changes down below of course in the comment section and uh, right before we get into the video I have a super super quick sponsor message. Hey guys, so this video is going to be sponsored by opinion outpost opinion outpost Outpost is a really cool free website where literally all you have to do is simply give your opinion on surveys regarding several different types of topics that you can pick from. So all you gotta do is click on one of these bad boys and start filling out the survey. It'll just simply ask you set regular questions and that's it. And off of that, you get points that you can redeem for free credits such as you get Amazon gift cards, Apple gift cards, Tim Hortons, PayPal. It's really that simple. It's pretty damn awesome. The link is below guys. Highly recommend checking it out. All right, so let's get right into it. So jungle accessibility. So one of our longer term goals is to increase the position preference for the jungle in a lower MMR. So they want more people to jungle in lower MMR. We're attacking the problem for a few angles that we think uh, will in particular reduce some of the esoteric optimizations and help onboard newer players to the role. Cool. So let's see what they're doing. Some of these changes are if I'm reading it correctly, are kind of weird and pretty big. Anyway, so more forgiving jungle clearers. With the current uh, shorter jungle timers, the pace of farming and ganking has gone up considerably, making every misstep a major setback for both the jungler and their team. So what are the changes? So the jungle monster base attack damage, the base AD of jungle monsters has been reduced. The monster's attack damage scaling also reduced, so they just do less damage, it seems like, right? The camp respawn timers, however, you can see up by 15 seconds, and the camp bright warning timer, which I believe is the thing on the minimap where it lets you know once the camp is 15 seconds from being, uh, for, from respawning, assuming you, you, you've, you know, cleared the vision of it essentially, uh, is now 10 seconds rather than 15 seconds, so I guess you have less time to know when it's happening? I don't know what the point of that is, honestly. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's for lower ELO specific. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, so this part is weird, but whatever. Cool. Doesn't change much. Here we go. Jungle gold from non-buff camps. So like the wolves, um, Gromp, the raptors, uh, the golems, you know, the, the two little krugs. Uh, increased by approximately 5%, so you actually get more gold from killing those now. Okay, that's interesting. Um, so I guess it's more viable to just go, instead of going buff, buff, and then like Gromp into like Scuttle, you just maybe want to full clear, I guess. Um, so they also want to widen the champion viable, uh, the viable champion pool. This is pretty interesting. So this is where it starts getting interesting. So uh, essentially, what they're doing is, so they want uh, less reliance on having a perfect AOE clearing kit or the right CC tools to have scuttle dominance. Because right now, guys, if you don't know, uh, scuttle crab, right? You know how you see it initially when it spawns. It has that like half HP bar of a shield. The only way to remove the shield is by hard CCing it. Hard, not like not uh, soft CC, like a slow hard CC, like a stun, for instance, right? Like a root. Um, so Smite, along with Crowd Control, will break the Scuttle Crab's shield before applying the damage. That is huge. Now, Smite, so it doesn't even matter who you're playing, every single champion can pretty much do Scuttle Crab pretty much the same level of like, you know, has, has the same level of strength when it comes to doing the Scuttle Crab. Smite breaks the shield and then it does the damage. Huge, absolutely. This, this is this alone. I think even if this was literally the only change they did, completely changes the jungle meta, in my honest opinion. Um, then you have the little bit of changes here. The Omni Vamp and jungle items reduced slightly. The Smite percentage max health healing has actually been increased. That's pretty cool. Moving along, reduced snowball. Another factor that is both causing too much stress, stress about, uh, but also too much influence over the game outcome is how hard the jungle position can snowball. And we think reducing this will make the position easier to break into and more enjoyable long term. Let's see, what are they doing? So they're apparently reintroducing comeback experience. This is a pretty controversial topic I remember like a while back. Um, people loved it or hated it, I, I believe. So they're reintroducing it. So now the large monsters grants you 50 experience per level. You are below the average level of the game, minus one. So if the average level is seven and you get comeback experience at level five and below. Smite damage to monsters. He's, they're pretty much also changing the way Smite's damage works. So at the very moment, it's 390 to 1000. You can see here on the wiki I brought up just in case, 390 to 1000 based on level, right? So this is obviously accurate, just to make sure. Uh, now it's becoming 500 at base. So I'm assuming you'd literally just start with 500 Smite damage level one. And the second you upgrade the Smite quest completion, which is like, I think you have to like Smite five or six times, something like that. Um, it goes straight to a thousand, I guess, uh, which is like ridiculous because at the moment it's a thousand only at level eighteen. 
So now in theory you can get I mean from what I remember when I did when I do jungle, you finish your smite quest like what? Like level six, seven, something like that, give or take, you know, some somewhere around there. Somewhere in that general area. So you'll have a thousand smite damage that early? I mean this is a pretty big nerf to like Nunu, maybe. Or maybe it's a buff actually. I don't know. Hard to say, but essentially a thousand damage on smite by like level seven ish. Guys, that's ridiculous. Uh, and moving along, the final thing, Camp Leashing Clarity, which is a future work. A particularly important skill for high-level jungle optimizations is to perfectly manage the monster leash ranges and drag them into optimal positions for max clear speed. So essentially, when you're doing red buff and you want to go to the raptors after, you wouldn't just stand in the center of the red buff and just auto-attack it like that. You would kite it, try to maybe reduce a little bit of damage you take from it, and as you're kind of killing it and getting closer to killing it, you slowly kite it up towards the raptor camp so that by the time you kill the red buff, you're very close to the raptor camp and you can start it right away as opposed to having to then walk all the whole things so you're kind of doing that between each auto attack weave right anyway so while not removing the skill we want to help newer junglers learn the rules and leash ranges for each monster camp so when you're within 200 range of causing the monster to leash a warning particle will appear to show the monster's leash range. okay so that's just a small little visual thing not too crazy there but this right here crazy this right here crazy this right here crazy uh, and I would say, honestly, this right here is pretty crazy as well. Uh, probably even this as well. This might change things uh, quite a bit as well in terms of how you want to gank versus not gank and things like that. But uh, either way, guys, that is it for this video. A little bit of a quick-ish one, giving you guys the updates as per usual. Uh, make sure you guys check out the Opinion Post sponsor link down below. Really appreciate that so much as well. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. See you guys for the next one. Peace.